<clears throat> well, this is just a quick video. I had a subscriber wanted to know how you wire up those little relays with the light sensors on for, for the signals. Uh, so I'll do a little demo here just to show it. It was for Les Hell Station, he calls himself Les Hell Station. So uh, let's get on and see where we do it. Now these are the little relay boards, right? Um, so you must make sure you get the one, because there's a few of these on eBay, looks similar. The one that's got these two pots on it with a screw, screw adjustment on them. The some look very similar, but they've only got one pot adjustment, the little square one pot adjustment. And they're no good because all they do is go on and off. Um, this one you can adjust the time. You can adjust the time. I think it's that one. And the sensitivity with this one. Right, and you get this little photos, photo cell plugs in there, and I've demonstrated it. It's there. You put it drill hole, put it through. So it just comes through, level with the top of your, with with your um, sleepers. And then, uh, as you see, the, the light when you go when you go over it, it goes to red. Right now, how you wire it up? Right, so it stays. You can adjust how long that stays that colour with this one. Right, so how you wire it up? <laughs> it's marked on there. You see DC plus and DC minus just here, and that's where you connect your power into it. So we've taken it. We've taken. 12 volt that's that's the 12 volt dc out of there right into there now the the, the other controls at the back are completely separate from that so what you do depending on whether your signal is um a positive common or a negative common these these what i've got are a positive common so you take and obviously if you're running off a 12 volt you'd have to put a, make sure you got a resistor on it on. so we take under there that's me common lead from me signal and i'll take that to another positive another positive connection there so he's got that's another positive connection so you've got one going one positive connection going to the, the the common of the signal and the other one is going to the power. Now you know when the power's on because you get a little a little indicator like that comes on there when there's power on. Right, now then you take your green light, the wire for your green light goes in this this one here the red light goes in this one here and the um, negative feed goes into the center right so you take a neck so that's a negative feed negative feed from here goes into the center of that box the center one of those and that is it that is it then if you, if you as we see, if you got a, that goes over there, whoop, and that changes. And then you bring it back, and you can set how long it takes. Well, I've got that set for about seven seconds. Now, what you'll find, because they don't always come arrive in the same. See this little? There's a little jumper there. There's a little jumper there, and that has to be as far back on O. Oh, so, so you've got a, you could take it off and move it one forward. It's got to be as far this as far this way as it can go. Otherwise, the thing won't work properly. 
right? Now you can you can adjust the time when you get it. You'll probably find it's set for about twenty seconds or so to stay red. You put your screwdriver in here. A minute. Put your screwdriver in there. Unwind it about twenty turns, or, or a bit eight full turns, like sixteen turns. And when you've done that, you should find. Let, let's have a go. I've already set this, so let's undo it somewhat. I've to do it a few turns. See, it don't take long. It only change. It's now only changing for a few seconds, right? You, then you screw it inwards to increase the time. How long you want it? So gradually turn it in till it go one. Um, no, it's still not long. Keep turning it in until you get it. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Four half turns. And it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A bit too long now, so I'll come back. Come back another one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now yeah, that's about six seconds to change back. <coughs> then you can adjust the sensitivity to light. So if I was to turn the light down in here, it wasn't very bright, you'd have to undo this undoing this one will make it operate in less light uh, but obviously if you then have it again set it to for, for too dark then it won't it'll take longer to um to operate there so you've got it's a balance between the two and the light and the dark but that's basically that's basically it so as i say i'll leave a link where i got this one from in the description but you must get the one that's got the two pots on it the other one with one pot is no good because you can't adjust how long how long that stays red all right so i'll leave it at that for now A good look at it. that's what it's like right now how do i wire this up now i've put a, a little thing on there what do you call it i can't think the name of it now to um dcc coming in here which is taken off my track soldered onto there so it's dcc input there and it outputs the other side of it as plain dc right and that's connected to the board that that gives these are dcc dc powered not dcc so you've got to go pos, um, positive this side negative that side so this converts the dcc to plain dc left positive that side negative that side and then on top of that i've took a I've took, I soldered another wire onto the uh, negative side, and that's gone into the center, the center connection on this side, right? And then I've taken the positive lead here, and I've that is actually got under there a little resistor, thousand ohm resistor for the to protect the. Uh, the three volt um, signal to run on 12 volt right so that's a little re resistor it's what's soldered to that side of it and then it's got me green wire coming in this side and the red wire on the far side and so and that is how it's wired in now obviously that's that works for this 
This is just for a light for when the train passes and it changes to red for five seconds and goes back to green. Obviously, if you wanted it for, um, for point operation, you'd have to wire it a bit different. Um, but the, the, the power from this end is completely separate from the power from that end. It's only because I've, I've run a wire from here to there that, that connects it up. So, uh, well, that's about it. So... Uh,